You guys have an absolute mess on your hands when you open your Lightroom catalog. If you do, you're in the right place. I'm gonna help you guys today to sort out that mess. I'm gonna show you guys where to get started to just start decluttering that mess in Lightroom. It is a huge pain when your Lightroom catalog is a mess because you can't find photos, you're losing photos, photos are missing, and it's just a huge pain in the butt to work in Lightroom. When your Lightroom's organized, it is so much easier to use. I've got a couple other YouTube videos covering how to make Lightroom faster and how to organize Lightroom room a little bit better so if those are things that you're interested in I'll link those videos down below but otherwise this is going to show you guys how to start cleaning up your mess because I know a lot of you guys out there are definitely struggling with a mess in your Lightroom catalog let's go ahead and jump right in there to Lightroom I'll show you guys exactly how I would start cleaning up your mess in Lightroom all right, well, you've got a mess in Lightroom. That's why you're here. I wanna help you guys clean it up. I wanna show you how to get started. That's gonna help you increase the speed of your Lightroom catalog, um, as well as it's just so much nicer to have an organized space. You can find your photos easier. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to go about cleaning up your catalog and how to get started. Now, I've got a couple other YouTube videos on Lightroom organization, uh, as well as ways to speed up your catalog. So if you're looking for those things, I will link those videos down below. You guys can watch those as well. Those are really nice to supplement and watch with this video as well. First thing you need to do if your Lightroom catalog is a mess, there's obviously a wide range of reasons why it might be a mess. But uh, for me to help you guys, the best thing you can do is go to catalog and go to all photographs. That way you can see every photo in your catalog, no matter where it is at. Now, if you guys are using folders here to store your photos, I'm just gonna stop you, stop using folders. It's not a good way to organize your photos because uh, if I wanna say, let's say, I wanna find a photo that I shot at Crater Lake in the winter and I shot it like two or three years ago but I don't remember exactly when. It's gonna take me forever to sort through all these folders to find that one photo of Crater Lake. So stop using folders, close that down. You're gonna use collections instead, that's what I use. I could find that photo of Crater Lake within Oregon and then within Salem and Crater Lake area under Crater Lake, bam, found that photo in a matter of seconds. So. Um, like I said, in my other videos, I talk a little bit about how to organize the collections, but for now, I just wanna show you guys use collections, organize them however you want. If you wanna watch that other video, go ahead and do that. But what you're gonna do is start dragging these photos into collections. So you're probably sitting here under catalog all photographs, and I'm guessing most of these photos that you have are not in collections. That's obviously a big problem because it's really hard to find photos. So what you're gonna do is start making collections. So depending on what kind of photographer you guys are, maybe you can tell by now, I am a landscape and nature photographer, but maybe you shoot weddings, you shoot senior photos, you shoot cityscapes, maybe you also shoot landscapes, maybe you shoot travel photos, whatever you do, um, create some collections for whatever kind of photos you shoot. You can create a collection by clicking this plus button here and do create collection and make a name for your collection. Um, you can also put it inside of a collection set. So a collection set is like one of these larger folders and a collection is one of these smaller folders. So the collection set holds collections. Um, and I know that's a lot of like collection this, collection that, but all you guys need to understand is that photos go inside of a collection. If you wanna organize them further, they can go inside of a collection set. So the first thing you're gonna do is scroll to wherever you wanna start organizing your photos. I would recommend just going to the top or whatever you wanna do. And now you can start clicking and organizing photos. So let me start, I'll start like right here around 4.99. These are from uh, Utah, from like central Utah from a workshop I led. So if I wanted to start organizing these photos, um, they're already organized, but I'll show you like they weren't. Let's just pretend here. So we've got these photos and I wanna select all the ones from like the same area. So these are all from central Utah area. So I'm gonna click the first photo and scroll down until right here. After this, these are all from Zion. So these are a little bit later on. So I'm gonna shift click. Now I've selected all the photos. Now I can simply go into Utah, Hanksville, and I'm just going to click, drag and drop right there into Hanksville. Now essentially you're just gonna keep doing that um, until you go through all of your photos. Now I'm fully aware for a lot of you guys, this might take you quite some time, um, but this is the best way to clean up your catalog is to start doing it that way. You can see I also have this unsorted folder. That's where I put photos like before I've edited them or decided to delete them. 
Um, and so then the last thing you might be wondering is when you're in catalog, you've got all these photos here, but like you probably have a lot that you want to delete. You can reduce the amount of photos in your catalog, which is gonna help to speed it up. And obviously it's gonna make it easier to organize if you delete photos. So let me find a batch of photos. These ones, for example, I'm gonna delete. So I've got these photos. I'm in all photographs. Make sure you're under catalog all photographs. Of course, you're in the library module here. And select on the first photo you wanna delete. And I wanna delete all the way through like right here. So I'm gonna go shift click. Now you can see that selects all of the photos. Make sure you shift click, not just individually click because that'll select all the photos. I can hit delete. Now you've got the option here to remove from Lightroom and delete from disk. You might be tempted to remove from Lightroom because the button is blue and very tempting looking. However, don't do this, delete from disk. Essentially the difference between these two is that removing from Lightroom is just takes these photos out of your Lightroom catalog, but they would still live and exist on your hard drive, your computer, your memory card, whatever they're sitting on they would still exist there. If you delete from the disk, it's gonna totally get rid of the photos. They're gone forever. You won't have to deal with them anymore. They're not gonna take up space on your catalog or disk space on your hard drive or your computer or whatever. You're gonna click delete from disk. That's gonna get rid of the photos completely. You can see all photographs, the number goes down. So that's what you need to do uh, is to get rid of the photos. Now. What you need to do going forwards to stay organized after you've organized all of these is to, con every time you import photos, uh, you're gonna go into this previous import here. I just have one photo because that was my previous import, but when let's say you imported, like you went on a trip and you imported 200 photos. All 200 would appear here. After they appear here, drag them into a collection. For me, I like using this unsorted. That's where I put them before I cull through them and delete some and uh, whatever I do, I'll put them in unsorted. But for you guys, you might want to just organize them in a collection. However you want to do it is totally fine. But put them in a collection ASAP. If you don't have things in a collection, the only way you're accessing them is through the catalog or through the dreaded folders that I highly recommend you avoid because they're such a pain in the butt to use folders. So you can use catalog. So put them in a collection immediately and then cull through them from there. When you want to delete them, go to catalog all photographs and find your photos in here. You can easily delete them easily drag them to a new collection, whatever it's gonna be. And when you import those photos, uh, if you guys have a lot of missing photographs, that's a whole nother issue. That is because Lightroom doesn't know where the photos are. When you import photos into Lightroom, they actually, Lightroom is just reading a preview. Like this right here is not the full photo, it's just a preview of the photo. The photo lives somewhere else. And essentially when I imported this, I told Lightroom this photo lives over here in this spot, wherever that may be. For me, that's on my hard drive. For you, you might be importing them directly to your computer. Um, but you need to make sure that you're telling Lightroom where to import them to. I've got another video where I talk about a little bit of importing stuff. You guys should definitely check out if that's an issue for you uh, because missing photographs are basically useless. All you can see is a preview. You won't be able to do anything with it. So you need to make sure you don't have missing photographs. So that is how I go about cleaning up a Lightroom mess. Like I said, it might take you quite some time to cull through all of your images, put them all in collections, get them a little bit more organized, but that is the best way to start going after your mess in Lightroom. All right, guys, well, that is a wrap. Hopefully that helps you guys to clean up your messy Lightroom catalog. That'll help you guys in so many ways. You'll be grateful that you did. Once you get it clean, you better keep it clean. You don't want to have to revisit this video again because you let it get messy again. So make sure that you stay on top of it. Uh, look at some of the tips in the other videos that I have on Lightroom organization and stuff like that to help your catalog to stay really clean and organized. Hopefully this was helpful for you guys. Thank you so much for checking it out. If you wanna learn more from me, be sure to subscribe to my channel. And of course I do lead in-person workshops multiple times a year all across the Western United States. You can find those at Austin J jamesjackson.com slash workshops. Link is down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it as always. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.